This is the 2005 Mark X. The Mark X is Toyota's luxury brand, which features a V6 engine, and it comes in two versions. We have the three liter version, which can produce up to 256 horsepower. And then we have a 2.5 liter version, which can produce up to 215 horsepower. The other features include a six speed automatic drive with sequential shifting. They also have a double wish suspension on the front and a multi-link suspension on the rear. These are comfortable cars. It's undisputed. Before we continue with this video, I would like to ask you to subscribe to this channel and leave a like on this video. The car looks very classy and sporty from the back, as you can see. When you look at this car from the back, it has two exhausts. One right here, another one right there. These two exhausts make it look very sporty and um, it gives the driver more confidence when he's raving it down the street. The 2005 Mark X comes with very huge 16 inch wheels as you can see. They are very sporty wheels and they are able to smoothly take it down the road. And it also gives it an overall sporty look. So I think it's a very good looking car. This car has a V6 engine which means it has 6 cylinders and this makes it feel very smooth when you're driving it down the road. It is different from a 4 cylinder engine in that the time it takes for one cylinder to fire after another is shorter. So generally it feels very smooth, it feels very smooth and the car feels really nice to drive and really comfortable and they are also not as loud. Four cylinder engines are usually found in, in uh, smaller cars like the Toyota Wish and the Toyota Sienta, Toyota Spatio. We actually have already reviewed the Toyota Wish and the Toyota Spatio. Feel free to check those out. Those videos are on our channel as well. Remember to subscribe and like this video. At night when this car is running, this mark here lights up. Overall it makes the car look really nice. Now the interior of this car really feels nice. I am currently in the passenger seat of this car and it feels really comfortable. When the AC is blowing, the air, air con vents are just right here so I'm able to get my AC very well. The, one, the ones for the driver, the passenger and the driver here as well. We have one for defrosting the windscreen which is over here. And if you look at the general look and the feel of the car, it's really nice. The quality is higher. This is not plastic. This feels like leather and it is soft to the touch. And what I love about this car is the physical buttons. When you press it, even if you're driving, you, you feel like you've really pressed something and it gives you that feedback by clicking in place. The infotainment system can accommodate a flash drive, as you can see here. So you're able to play your custom music it can also handle DVDs, as you can see, and an SD card as well. So it is really a car designed to give the driver maximum enjoyment. If we look at the gear shifting lever here, lever, it's a bit different from the ones we've seen in other cars, which are either positioned at this point here, like uh, the Toyota Wish, but then for it, it is positioned here. So when you're driving it, it really makes you feel like driving a, sport, a sports car. It is a six gear uh, drive as we mentioned and as you can see here it has a sport mode where you see the S and the plus is for increasing the gear the minus is, is for reducing the gear you are in. So you can drive it as a manual car as well. When it comes to storage there's plenty plenty of storage. Check here this is the glove box that is storage as if that was not enough, there's one more here. Oops, oops, oops. Yes, more storage right there. If I close that, you will notice that there's more storage here as well. More storage for your keys and also charging in the car. As if that is not enough. More storage right here. 
and the engineers who are designing this car said, ah, that is not enough storage. Let's give them some more storage. Now check this out. More storage just here, right here. This is a little bit smaller than uh, the rest. You see it goes deep down here inside. My, heart, my hand can fit in there. So the entrance is really small, but then the space is really big inside here. And the material here is still a leather-like material, so it's really, 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 really nice. Still about storage, there's plenty more storage down here. If you have things to keep in here, you can always keep in your, your bag for ladies and many other things you can store in the door bins. They are not as huge, they are not big, as big as uh, the rest of the cars, but the size is really acceptable considering all the other storage compartments it has in here one thing i would like you to notice is this light down here so this is really important so that when you open the door at night it lights up the place where you're going to step i think this is a very classy touch and i love it 10 out of 10. now back in the driver's seat the car the seat really feels raised when you sit in the driver's seat you feel raised. I believe the seat was designed that way because the car is really low to the ground. So to get a very nice view ahead, you, you need a seat that is raised. And my visibility here is really good. I can see all corners. And I feel very comfortable in this seat. The steering wheel really feels nice when you hold it it has this soft material the only diff the only challenge is that when you look at these button like structures here they are really there for aesthetics reasons they don't really do anything if you want to control anything you have to come back down here and be able to change what you're changing now let's check out the gauge cluster when the car is off it's all dark like this now check out what happens when I start the car. It, it starts lighting up and when you start the car, all this information comes up. You can see the odometer just here. It can show you the temperature, the outside temperature, and you're able to see your revolutions per minute right here. It can go up to 8,000 revolutions per minute. And it has a top speed of 180 kilometers per hour but because this car is seated really to the ground really close to the ground when you're moving even at low speeds it feels like it's uh it's moving at jet speeds which makes you really get that adrenaline rush and i think that's perfect compared to other cars where these controls for the mirrors are placed right here for this particular car they are placed right here so close to the driver and so easy to reach in case you need to reach them you also have your power window controls down here near the driver's door now let's check out the back the back of the car really feels nice see the soft materials on the seats leather everywhere it really makes the car feel very nice and expensive. And check out here the bins at the back of the at the back of the chairs of the front seats. More storage, more storage everywhere. More storage at the back here. There are bins at the back of the driver's seat. There are no door bins here. There are no door bins. So the passenger was really not focused on when it came to this car. The main focus was on the driver because it's more of a sports car. So the driver is the main focus. Some tiny storage here for your coins <laughs> and the air conditioning for the passengers as well. So at least there, they were thought about. You will notice that in the back there's this hump here, this middle separator. This 
communicates to you that this car is a four-wheel drive. So there's a shaft that is coming from the engine passing right down here, going to the rear wheels, which helps to turn the rear wheels. So this car is a four-wheel drive car, and it is, um, I would say, really, it's a very, very nice car. So if you're planning to buy such a car for your personal drive, I highly recommend it. Thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe to this channel for more videos. That will give us courage to make more videos. And um, we hope to review many more cars. If you have a car that you would like us to review and you are in Uganda around Kampala, give me a call or comment below this video and I will get in touch with you.